Angel Dame 17 or Angel Dom 17 commented, Howdy, hey, Watcherinos! It's your neighbor, Zach, and today's subreddit is r slash tales from the customer. yoo <laughs> All right, this story's called My Experience with a Return from the World's Largest Online Retailer. Currently taking one month in my credit score drop. Hello, wall. First of all, this is a long post. I have almost always had neutral to pleasant experiences with this large smiley returns. However, I have come to you with a story about how one purchase changed that for me. It started when I wanted to gift my parents with a birthday, uh, mom's uh, uh, June 24th, uh, Father's Day present. Their home gets ridiculously hot due to a landlord who does not upkeep their air conditioning unit, so I decided to get them an evaporative cooler. After going through the ins and outs of the proper square footage that it would need to work and making sure it would be alright in their climate, Central Valley, I bought one by asking my siblings to chip in. We purchased a 500 $46.45 cooler, $180 each, on June 11th, and I purchased it on my credit card, thinking that if the purchase turns out to be a bust, I can return it and just get the money back on my card. At this time, I had a credit score of 746. The cooler comes on June 19th, and the merchant used some random shipper. I signed something stating I received the item. I go to my parents' same day for a small six foot of away birthday on June 20th, but it does not cool as expected. And it came with the socket blackened. We tried it out for a few hours, being cautious of the outlet socket that I stayed visiting, and it did not fit with what we wanted. On the day of the party, I called Smiley about returning it. They wrote directly to their merchant seller. Now, see, the merchant has 48 hours to respond, and boy do they use each and every second. For some reason, the seller did not realize or put on my orders that it was delivered. As of today, July 21st, the my order section of my smiley goes from saying on the way but it's running late or most likely lost. Of course, I could have told smiley I never received it, get my money back, but the seller has that signature and it could backfire. It's not like I want their cooler or to scam them out of money anyway, so I figured I'd communicate the information and get my money back normally. This is the main cause of the terrible service I received from Smiley on the fault of this seller not updating the delivery. So after Smiley wrote on my behalf to the seller, I had to go back and forth five times, two days each time equals ten days, about my reason for the return. For them to ultimately tell me, incorrectly, that Smiley is in charge of providing a return label, which even if this was true, I am unable to click that I want to return due to it technically never arriving per the Smiley website. After the seller, incorrectly, which I didn't know at the time, tells me this, I immediately contact Smiley who goes through the same question. Have you received the package? On my end, it says you never received it. Yes, I have. I even signed for it. And Smiley tells me that the seller is incorrect and the seller must provide the shipping and that they would contact contact them and let them know. They then message me again and say, Good morning, we apologize for the delay on our response. Can you describe what's defective on the unit so we can start the claim and request a return tag for the unit? Thank you! To which I replied, The defective part was the outlet prongs. They were black as if they were burnt. Regardless, I do not want the item and would like to do a return. On the Smiley website, it says the package hasn't arrived, but it has if you look at the other communications from Smiley, you can see they require you to set up a return. As it is a large item, please let me know about the details of the pickup. More than two days passed, and I was told at this point from Smiley to contact them if they did not respond so they could escalate it. At this point, I was tired of these back-to-back -back circling communications and was like, 
might as well make this their problem. So they filed an A to Z claim for me that would show my past communication with the seller and the lengthy process it has taken at this point. On the phone, I was told it could take from one to two weeks to hear back. I'm like, okay, I gotta wait. During this time, my credit card cycled twice, once in June and again in July. I did not miss the minimum payments or anything, but my credit score dropped from 746 to 736 during this time, that's FICO, and then 730 to 701 from Credit Karma. At this point, I don't want my score to be hurting because of the revolving utilization, so I called exactly after two weeks and was greeted with a kind representative, Rep Miranda. She helped me and saw that this process on Smiley's end has been happening for way too long. She submitted an expedite request on my behalf, which should only take three to five business days, or July 17th when I called. And she let me know that if my credit is hurting, they will be able to contact my credit card company and let them know to reverse any ill effects. I felt better, but still wanted to contact my credit card company to be assured of this. They suggested if this does not get taken care of in the time frame they said to submit a dispute against this charge until Smiley Miley deals with their terrible system and the merchant. I kept this in mind. Three days later, July 21st, I thought it would be July 23rd I would be called and was not expecting a call. I missed the freaking call due to my phone being on Do Not Disturb. I hear the voicemail from Rep Miranda that says, Wait another three to five days. Smiley has not responded. I thought by calling Smiley, I could just get connected to Rep Miranda. My my mistake. I talk to some random person for a little bit and find she cannot help me and found out there is simply no update suggesting if I do not hear back by Friday, July 24th, it would be a good idea to simply file the dispute against Smiley with credit card company. With that green light, knowing how long those kinds of claims take, I called my credit card company and started going into what has been happening. To my freaking distress, Rep Miranda calls me again again. I tried putting the credit card company worker on hold to miss the call with Rep Miranda. Leaving it be, I go back to the credit card company call to where I am transferred to a billing specialist. Rep Carl is a nice guy and was really trying to help. I told him everything and he said the best we could do was try to have a conference call with Smiley. I agreed, thinking that he would do most of the talking since all he wanted to know was why this return between the seller has one not been returned by me two taken so long three not refunded meaning he was going to get an idea of the extensive communication between me smiley and the merchant rep carl creates a conference call with rep intellectually disabled we'll be calling rep Rhonda for the rest of the post. I am introduced into the already started call between rep Carl, rep Rhonda, and myself. Keep in mind, rep Rhonda has a very thick Indian accent. Her accent does not affect the call, but she is unable to understand me communicating my email. She seems to be of an adult age, around 30 to 45. Also, behind her was the loudest screeching from what I can assume is a call center. And terrible call quality which is preceded with many, many beeps and loud weight music. All right, OP, please communicate your relevant account information to help Rep Rhonda so that we can begin getting information. Got it. Hello? Silence. Um, what information do you need from me? Hello? Um, Rep Rhonda, can you ask OP for the relevant information you need? Okay. Um, can you give me your full name and email associated with the account? Uh, my full name is OP and my email email is me reading it out loud normally without saying alpha epsilon etc op at gmail.edu all right let me check it out silence i cannot find an email with this account can you say it again uh yeah no problem i continue to say the email by saying o as in omega etc omega lima india bravo uniform bravo 
Alpha at Echo Mike Alpha India Lima dot Echo Delta Uniform. I still cannot find the email. Can you say it again and I'll follow letter for letter? No problem. We go through each letter very, very slowly. And I am beginning to get a bit annoyed, so I speak loudly with each letter to make sure she understands. She seemingly follows each letter. Okay, I'm going to repeat. Repeat it again. O L I B U B at E M A I L dot E D U. No, it's Omega Lima India Bravo Uniform Bravo Alpha at Echo Mike Alpha India Lima dot Echo Delta Uniform. Okay, I got O as in Omega, L as in Lambda, I B as in Boy, U B as in Boy, A as in Alpha. A as an alpha. Me cutting her off knowing she's been writing Oli Boo Bat <laughs> at email.edu. No! Not A-T at as in the at sign. In an email? Do you know the at sign? Exact phrasing. Yes, I know the at symbol. Of course I do. Silence. Okay, I found it. You are Oli Booba? Yes. Alright, can you provide me with the billing address and zip code? Mailing address. Zip code. Can you say the zip code again? Zip code. All right. Uh, how can I help you today? I am giving authorization for Rep. Carl of credit card company to communicate information about my return on my behalf. OP, uh, you are in fact giving me the authorization to get account information on behalf of credit card company. Yep. Understood. Hello, Rep. Rhonda. Can you tell me about the return regarding the cooler? I am sorry. I am unable to speak to anyone else except the customer. Rep. Carl is silent for a few shots seconds. Um, I do not think that is the case. I've spoken to Smiley and other companies in a conference call before. I'm sorry, I am unable to speak to anyone except the customer. Like, why did she think she was talking to someone else at first? Audible silence from Rep. Carl. Um, it's okay, credit card company guy. Um, Rep. Rhonda, can I have information regarding my pending return and A to Z claim on the evaporative cooler? Rep. Rhonda, forget Rep. Carl exists? Talks about my account information? Yes, is this about the evaporative cooler? Uh, let me look into why your return has taken so long. May I put you on a brief hold? Yes. Hearing the wait music? Um, credit card company guy? Are we good doing it this way? Yes. Please make sure to let her speak about the return and try to get a return while on call. And that should be found. I am so sorry for everything up till now. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's not your fault. <laughs> okay. But with what has happened so far, it should help with writing a dispute claim. Keep it up. Also, words cannot describe how funny it was to be talking with Rep. Carl while on hold with the loud wait music knowing the smiley Rep. could hear us, unless he muted it. <laughs> Especially since I know he heard every last second of her trying to get my email. We wait for a little in silence until... Thank you so much for patiently waiting, OP. It seems that the merchant has not been responding to Smiley's communications, and our best case would submit an expedited A to Z claim. I cut her off. Um, no, that is not necessary. I've already submitted the expedited A to Z claim with another customer service rep. No, this is a different claim than the A to Z. It is an A to Z expedited claim, which will only take three to five days. No, thank you. I have already submitted it. She goes into what the claim is again for almost a minute, talking about my return again. Okay, go ahead. All right, I will. Rep Carl, my angel. Ah, uh, Rep Rhonda, that is not necessary. OP has already submitted the claim. And now, from this call, credit card company has everything they need to submit a claim. Thank you. Rep Rhonda is Confused? Thank you, Rep. Rhonda, but I will not need anything else. I would like to end this call. Um, alright, thank you for calling Smiley. Goodbye. Me and Rep. Carl. Silence. We wait about 15 seconds for her to hang up. Um, credit card company guy? What's your name? I'm sorry for calling you credit card company guy. Ha! <laughs> 
It's a rep Carl, anyways. I am sorry about what just happened, but we definitely have enough about Smiley's incompetence to fill out the claim. While we were waiting with the terrible and loud wait music for that long time, I was able to fill out the dispute and we'll most likely be able to submit this dispute. That's great, and I'm sorry you had to sit through all that. I hope I was able to get you the information you need. Um, excuse me, I am still here. I can't remember what else she said. Me and Rep Carl. Shocked she's still here. Like, what the fuck? We are quietly shocked. Um, can you please hang up? I am unable to do that. The customer calling must hang up the call. No, you should be able to leave. It's a conference call, so I'm unable to take you out unless you hang up so I can keep speaking to OP. Rep Rhonda explained some bullshit nozzle about why she can't hang up. Rep Rhonda, please hang up. We no longer need your services. It's okay, OP. I have everything I need and you will be receiving an email soon about what we talked about and what we will need in the future communications. Okay, thanks credit card company guy. Have a nice day. You too, OP. Goodbye. After this call, I was in shock this woman didn't hang up. Also, yes, I lost so many brain cells that I forgot Rep Carl's name and called him credit card company guy in the end. After this call, I looked up how to send good feedback about Rep Carl, and it took me about one hour because I did it online via chat since after that grade A service of dealing with a psycho, I don't want to bother credit card company anymore, so chat seems low stress. I cannot explain how chill Rep Carl was dealing with that woman in what should have been a simple conference call. Anyway, I will update what happens in the next few days with both Credit Card Company and Smiley. How does this even happen? Isn't like Amazon like 20 years old at this point? I don't know. It blows my mind how stuff like this still slips, th slips through the cracks. And um, customer service is 9 times out of 10 incredibly frustrating despite its purpose to be the exact opposite. Despite its purpose being to be the exact opposite. I'm not sure how much sense that made grammatically speaking. This story's called, Employee Basically Asked Me How Poor I Am. Obligatory sorry I'm mobile. A year ago, I went to the mall wanting to get some makeup as a gift for a friend. She was really getting into drag makeup, so I thought it was a good idea. Now, makeup can be expensive, and I didn't have that much money. So I went into a famous makeup chain that I can say has low to mid prices. I asked the only employee there for some advice, and I got an eyebrow kit, a contouring kit, and some eyeshadow. I wanted to get more, but my budget was spent. I go to pay, and the employee looks at what I got and exclaims, What? That's it? I honestly wanted the ground to swallow me. She said how it wasn't enough for the type of makeup my friend likes, and I just shrugged. I was honestly so uncomfortable. I just wanted to pay and march away. She kinda glared at me and rang me up, and I quickly thanked her and left. It is honestly the most awkward encounter I ever had with with an employee. Alright, as someone who knows little to nothing about makeup, I think three little kits is more than enough. Because it's the thought that counts. You knew what they would be into and you picked something based on that. And you spent what you were comfortable with spending, which is the most that anyone could ask for or even hope for. Hope for. I can't talk. So you are a good friend, don't you dare freaking worry. Also screw you store employee, you jerk. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.